bubbly water crap. The bubbly water? Oh, uh, seltzer. Seltzer. And these are an S. I'll get you there. I feel like scrap yeah. is what it's called. Sauvignon. It's called not good. All right. What is my basket? I don't know. Are you going to introduce us? Oh, this is my basket. Oh, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Welcome to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm still Bart the Brewmaster, and that's uh, Matt the Whiskey Dude. Yeah. Um, Hi, guys. We have something I'm guessing only comes from California. I don't know. Yep. Uh, Special Reserve Cali. A California twist on American sipping whiskey finished with spices. Uh, says back here that it is handcrafted from an exceptional mash of bourbon, rye, and aromatic spices and mellowed to perfection. So, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. It says it's a single barrel. Did, was, did I see somewhere? Did it say it's a Total Wine special on there? It said a custom finish for Total Wine and more. Yep. Oh, I got it. So, it's like a Total Wine deal. Down here it says 2017 publisher's pick. Uh, total 92 tasting points. So it must have like scored some points at some contest. Yeah, you know, I was wondering, is that what year it is? It's not uh, 2017? Yeah, I think it's 2017. Okay. Cool. It's got some bottle dates on there. It's got the batch number. Yeah, I can't figure out where the hell you put that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but let's, uh, let's pour this thing in something. Let's pour it out and see, uh, see how this Cali whiskey tastes. See if anybody from California knows how to make whiskey. Now, California is known for their beer. That's for damn sure. And wine, most likely. And wine. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Oh, man, that's quite a pour. It is? No, my bad. <laughs> I never know how much to pour. Just enough. Whenever I... Uh, cork me. Whenever I... Cork it. Pour the beer, I just fill it up, so... At least I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's true. You <laughs> fill this thing to the top, it's pretty gnarly. Huh. What's the ABV on this one? Not much. 40-something? 42 and a half. 42.5. So that's uh, 85-ish for 80. Yeah, that's typical standard. It says it's uh, bottled in Gardena, California. <laughs> so LA area. Mm -hmm. Smells pretty good. Let's uh, let's let's check it out. See how this. Well, uh, let's look at the color of it. I pour too much too. Um, yeah, it's got a kind of. Uh -oh. I don't know. Copper straw color. Definitely goes definitely go deeper color, deeper copper. Yeah, it's got a nice color. Let's see how viscous it is. I'll do a swirl without splashing it everywhere. It's got um, some uh, I don't know. stuff in there, though. Yeah, it's got a lot of floaties. I don't know. Could have. Bad bastard left a floater. I guess. It just left a little rosebud in there for us. <laughs> it's thin, man. It doesn't. It's not very viscous. It doesn't stick to the glass. That's not pretty, at all. Yeah. It's like pretty tame. Let's go for the nose of it. Weird smell. Honey. And cooking spices. Yeah, it smells like baking spices. Yeah, I can't really pick which ones, but... Yeah, cinnamon, maybe? Yeah, definitely, maybe, yeah. Nutmeg. I don't know if nutmeg's in there, but... Or, uh, not, not the stronger nutmeg, maybe like, uh... Some vanilla and some honey and some cinnamon. Cinnamon, um... Oh, almost took a sip without you. What is it? What? No, there's one other spice in there that's a baking spice. What is that? Maybe vanilla even. I don't know. Vanilla bean. I don't know. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers whiskey dude Cheers. followers. Whoa. Huh. Is that whiskey? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really taste like whiskey. It tastes like Tastes like spices. Tastes kind of like a pie. Tastes, yeah, tastes like, <laughs> tastes like pie. Liquid pie. Yeah. Like pumpkin. Like pie. pumpkin pie almost. Yeah. This is like literally pumpkin pie in a glass. Just missing the whipped cream. It, it's, well, it's not harsh for sure. It's very mellow. Well, what's typically in pumpkin pie? Cinnamon? Um, cinnamon, cinnamon and pumpkin. nutmeg and yeah, maybe it's a combination of those. I don't know. I don't, I don't bake. Maybe it's pumpkin <laughs> spice. That's my only wife just texted me. Maybe it's pumpkin spice. I don't know. It's pretty mellow. Uh-oh. The wife is somebody. Somebody's texting me. Oh, never mind. Asking about dinner. No. Nope, nothing <laughs> important. 
Um, man, you know, I just went and picked up a uh, prime rib. It's it's a choice rib, but it's a still prime rib. Chris was good. And yeah, it was yeah. one hundred and twenty five dollars. Jesus. $125 ribeye roast for Christmas dinner. Better be mind blowing. It's 10 and a half pounds. Oh We're gonna have a lot of meat to eat. Smoking some uh, pork steaks tonight. Nice. Yeah, that works out. Nice. I can't wait to cook it. I don't know how long it's gonna cook. How long How, how long do you think it'll take, guys, to yeah. cook a, a 10 and a half pound prime rib? Leave the comments in the. Yeah, let us know so we don't screw that up. Yeah. And we don't like it well done. We like it. Just lightly brown. Mm -hmm. Kids are hurting themselves out in the alley. Kids are screaming. Ah. Wow. I, I, you know, honestly, if you said this was some other kind of like flavored alcohol, mm -hmm. I would have believed you. But when you say it's whiskey, I don't believe you. It doesn't taste like whiskey. It doesn't at all. taste like whiskey. You know, it tastes <laughs> like it tastes like flavored whiskey, like pumpkin spice. They would have said this was pumpkin spice whiskey. I I, I would have believed that. Yeah, it literally tastes identical to that. But it's not bad for a flavored alcohol. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's it's not that great. It's uh, definitely not whiskey. I'm definitely not happy whiskey. to have the uh, Munich Dunkel palate cleanser here. In yeah, just like I'm a not a fan of pumpkin spice anything. Oh, really? I really love pumpkin pie. So I like pumpkin pie. Good. I like pumpkin pie, but I don't like pumpkin beers. Mm. I don't like pumpkin spice beers. I don't like. Pumpkin whiskey, and that's what this tastes like. Kind of, yeah. Like if we were eating pumpkin pie right now, and I was drinking this, I would be a little confused. <laughs> I would be like, uh, hey, I'd be like, this, this, up the <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this could be the pumpkin syrup on top. There you go. That's funny. But that was. I, I mean, think I poured too much. As a whiskey, I'd say no, but as a flavored alcohol of some unknown origin, I'd say yeah, it's kind of tasty. You know, it has a tea kind of flavor to it. Okay. Oh, like a kind of a normal gray thing. Yeah. I kind of get that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, it's the constant comment yeah. from uh, Bigelow Tea, or Bigelow, right. or however you say it. Yeah. It's that kind of orange citrus. That's smell. what I'm tasting. Yeah. Yeah, it's that kind of spicy orange. Yeah, tea. isn't that weird? That is weird. It tastes like tea, man. Tea, pumpkin spices. <laughs> Orangey, citrusy tea. It's weird. It's different. Definitely weird for day 21. Yup. Oh well. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Yep. Anywho. Anyhow guys, that's uh, that's it for day 21. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Follow Cheers. Us. Cheers to you. It's almost Christmas. Woo! Woo! I hope I get something and not just cold. Socks. Socks. Underwear. That's all I'm gonna get, socks and underwear. Probably hey. from the Gap. I'm old enough to want and need yeah. underwear and socks. I got holy drawers. I wear those things out until, you know, you can't wear them any longer. They're shredded. Yep. But, uh, yeah, anyhow, appreciate you guys yep. tuning in. Check us out on uh, day number 22. And something Matt never says, hit the like button, hit the bell, and be notified. Hey, I'm a brother. Oh, saying snap, that. dude. Hit the bell notification. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so long, guys. Say hi to my wife. Say hi. <laughs> hi, wife. Hi, sorry. You're good. Oh, you're fine. Don't be sorry.